Lately, I find myself wondering, everybody, really wondering, who am I? I'm Etho, but really, what I mean is, what is my role on the server here? I mean, last episode, I was Iskel's victim. <laughs> he got me. I'm a headhunter in the head games. I'm a boogalooger in the Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo game. Speaking of llamas, Beef strongly hinted that he was going to call on my favors as a hitman. Most importantly of all though, Goatfather Dokem has chosen me to be his trusted Avenger to unleash sweet, sweet goat justice on Corellis and B00 for what they did to his boy here. Look at this thing. Look at it. <laughs> it's so funny. I cannot look at that and not laugh. Oh, they did such a good job on it. But, but you know, B-dubs and Trellis, they're my friends. I, but Doc M says it has to be so. And Granny Doc M, you know, he's the one that bakes me my cookies. So I got to do what, it, what the goat says. The one thing all these roles have in common is PvP. Combat. I just shot a panda. Oh, no. I'm sorry. The problem is, if we face B00 and Corellis with the way we are right now, we're just going to be another victim. If we want to win this fight, we're going to need to improve our ammo, our weapons, our armor, but most importantly of all, our skills. When Doc M chose me to be his Avenger, he wasn't choosing me, he was choosing old Etho. The one that was winning tournaments, not this Etho. This Etho is washed up at PvP. He's rusty. He can't even shoot a puffer fish in a barrel. I need to get geared up, and I need to get good. Cue the training montage. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem is you can see the name tag. Oh, are we are we eating as we? Uh... Oh yeah, go ahead. Okay. If you want, because I eat already. Okay, bow meat punch. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. <laughs> You're being all sneaky. <laughs> oh, 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 no. oh, where are you running? Nope, nope. nope. I can't nope. let you eat. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> nope, 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 no, no time to recover. Oh, that grass! <laughs> How are you so strong? <laughs> no, really? <laughs> I thought for sure I had you that time. <laughs> oh, we'll nice do this shot. Nice and far apart from each other. <laughs> it's like, stay over there. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. 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 Man, you're getting some good <laughs> shots on me. <laughs> I needed to eat. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, I got the surprise. <laughs> that one shot. All right, no mercy mode. Ooh. No, 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 no mercy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Come on. I need one. No. Oh. I need to eat. <laughs> no eat. eat. <laughs> no. Oh, you're going to get away. Stay away. Stay away. <laughs> How much health do you have? Eat. Come on. <laughs> yes. <Aww. laughs> Finally. <laughs> no, don't eat. <laughs> no. Yeah, you better retreat. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> you told me your weakness. I had the same idea. <laughs> you told me your weakness. Oh, lag. It's actually my weakness no. too, though, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> No, 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 no. 
Ow. Stop it, guy. Why are you hit? <laughs> yes. Oh, man, you were lower than I thought. I thought you were Yeah, I was there. low. Like, I, I waited way too long before I ate. The high ground in Minecraft is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you had me down to a heart there. That was a little freaky. Oh. But eating is OP. <laughs> Dude, you are all over me this match. I gotta... I gotta rethink my strategy. Shooting at me. <laughs> oh. You had me there if you just went in for the kill. Like, easy. Ow. Those things hurt. <laughs> I see you, Juke. Gotta do my drunk walk. Oh, oh wow. GG. Ouch. G I G. That was fun. Cool. So that was great. That was a perfect warm up, and we managed to get geared up a little bit better now. I think we are ready to face the Corellis and B double O. Uh, I hope uh, I hope we'll be okay here. I don't know. <laughs> I kind of got to do it now, though. I, Dot M is pushing me. He's like, Ito. Eat. Ito. Get it done. Get it done now. No, he's not quite that pushy, but uh, he he wants it done pretty soon. Uh, so uh, if you don't know what that thing with XP was, XP basically invited me to join him for some gentleman uh, head game hunting. Basically, it, we agreed to a battle. First to five gets to keep all the heads at the end of it. Uh, but we ended up winning there, so we got the heads. And it looks like the rules for the head games changed slightly here. So there's now PvP tiers at the top here, the blue and the red. So the regular one here is 10 points once only. That's passive, like from traveling merchants and stuff. Uh, but for PvP, you get more points. And the second tier one resets daily. This one is a one-time only thing, though. So if we go check out our place, you can see the daily one here is empty. Let's stick ours in there. So we'll get 15 points for that. And tomorrow I can come back and do that again and get another 15. Uh, the red one, though, is worth 25 if it's empty, but it doesn't reset. So that will be... Where's XP? I lost XP. I got five of his heads to fill up here. XP crafted. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. His is totally empty. Look at this. So we get 25 for that one. And we get 15 for that one. That's a That's a cool... 40 more points there. So B00 hasn't been on the server all day today. I think he's scared. I think he's hiding out. Uh, but Corellis has come on, so we're gonna go get him. Now's the time. <laughs> uh oh. Retreat? <laughs> oh, is Tango over there too? Goat justice! <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not how this game works. Not after what you did to Doc. Okay, second attack, we go for the puffer fish. <laughs> Shenanigans afoot. Uh oh. Oh, they, they be looking. <laughs> come on, come on, come on! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, we gotta retreat. Alright, we're gonna try it. We're gonna try to do it. This is gonna be tough. Oh, he keeps running. <laughs> oh, I don't know how many of those actually hit. He's way too far away. <laughs> oh, did I hit the cats? Oh, no.
<laughs> All right, I think we gotta go for real weapons now. Ooh, he actually got me. All right, here we go. Oh, I got puffer fish. No, it's thorns. He's got thorns. Thorns armor is the worst. <laughs> Who uses Thorns armor? Whoa, he he's he's going all over the place. He's got the the dolphin boost. Uh oh, I'm never gonna be able to get him. He's got too good of armor. <laughs> oh, this is great. Now I got some, I got motion. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> just go down, girls. Accept your punishment. <laughs> I can't get him. I can't get him. Why oh, is he so strong? He's impossible to kill. <laughs> Drown. That's my best chance. All right, I got my air. Let's keep him under. No, no, no. <laughs> I got him right in the corner, and I still can't kill him. Get him, zombie. Get him. Oh, he broke his shield. Yes. Oh, now he's running. Now he's running. He's got to be drowning. No, he's eating. I can't get him. I just can't get him. Oh, I hear him drowning. We're so close. I can feel it. fight in the world. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is, is my sword really this bad? Okay, he hasn't eaten in a while. Oh, there he goes. He has a sharpness five sword. Yeah, it is. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's a beast. Oh my goodness. Food in this game is just way too good. My last character. No. Alright, I retreat. I'm out. I'm out of food. I retreat. <laughs> I re I reach we watch. <laughs> okay, so that was pretty crazy. That didn't quite go like I expected. I thought I was gonna troll Corellis for a bit, you know? And then like when I ran out of troll things to do, I would just I would just kill him. I thought it'd be easy. It wasn't easy. I couldn't kill him. <laughs> uh I tried so hard too. 
I was I was like giving it my all there. I was wailing on him. Like sometimes even 10, 15 times, I think, without uh, him eating. And he still didn't die. Oh, th this game has changed quite a bit from what I'm used to. <laughs> so I should have brought some strength potions. I should have uh, had like instant damage arrows. But to get those, you either got to buy them from villagers, which I don't have. Or you got to fight the dragon, which I haven't done. So I'm not going to go fight Corellis at all until I get those. But maybe maybe uh, Doc will make up with them now. I'm not sure. Because we did accidentally kill his cat. And uh, I think he liked, he loved that cat. Like like Doc loved the goat. So now it's kind of like even Steven. Felt kind of bad about that. Whoopsies. <laughs> uh, but anyways, anyways, I... Uh, I figured something out here. I don't know if this is like a well-known thing in the game or not, but you have like you can do like portable miniguns in this game now. You, you load up a shulker box with crossbows that are charged up. It's kind of it takes a couple seconds to empty that. I don't know if there's a quicker way of doing that. And then you fill up your inventory so you just have the one spot free, and then you can just hold right click, and every time you press Q, you shoot. Because you toss out the bow and then you get a new one. And it instantly... Instantly goes. And these these shots do a lot of damage. So it's actually pretty insane if you can pull that off in, in uh, combat. So I thought that was neat. <laughs> uh, apparently... I think Corella said those fireworks got him down to four hearts. Which is pretty incredible because I think most of them missed. Cub fan the madman. Six... Stacks a string for one diamond, he said. I gave him three, because that's way too cheap. Thank you so much. I can make dispensers. I can make crossbows. I can make all kinds of things now. This is great. Anyways, we've been goofing around a lot in the last couple episodes here, which has been great. It's been a lot of fun, but I've been getting a couple comments like, Etho, are you actually ever going to build anything this season? <laughs> when are you going to do the redstone, Etho? You're the redstone guy. What's going on? Uh, yeah, we'll get into that today. So we're going to work on a storage system for our base, finally. You guys are going to love this. So much like the monstrosity here, where we're building with random blocks, our storage room is going to have stuff in random order like this. This is organized right now. It's going to be great. You guys are going to love it. And basically, we just put that in storage, and it's done. I'm not kidding. <laughs> You might think I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. That's what we're actually going to do this season. So uh, if you guys watch my single player, you might have uh, seen a, a while ago, I made a shulker box search system that I called the pixel, which basically had a menu. You tell it what item you want to find, and then the system would search through all your shulker boxes and return any that had the item inside. It was a pretty cool thing, except it was kind of slow, had a few issues. Um, and I always wanted to make a better one, but I really struggled to figure out how until now. This is the Googler. The Oogler Googler? I don't know what we're going to call it. Probably the Googler. <laughs> uh, so this is like a version two of it. Finally, guys, it, it works with very different mechanics, though, so it's not quite the same thing. Yeah, so check this out. The basic idea behind the system is we have a hopper minecart over here that bounces back and forth. And inside, we give it an item to look for, like, let's say a chest or whatever. It's going to pull that out of the shulker boxes above if they contain it. And then we need a bunch of redstone to control everything and to make sure no items go down here when we don't want them to. Um, we also got to be very careful, like when we break these shulker boxes, this hopper minecart will pick them up uh, right away. Unless it's full of items this over here. So that's one thing we got to do with it. Um, also, we somehow need to collect those shulker boxes, so we're doing a trick with the pistons here. And I'm going to test it, test it now to make sure it works on the server. Uh, that lag doesn't affect it at all. So the idea is we have two sets of pistons here. The bottom one extends and breaks the shulker boxes so that they pop off. And then the top layer re retracts it in that same moment so that there's air spaces above the shulker boxes. So when they... When the shulker boxes get squished, they go upward instead of downward to the hoppers below. Um, and then we squish them again and they go one more block higher. So let's just see that. Make sure it works here. 
exactly like that. So all five of them ended up in here. And there's going to be a water channel in there to move the shulker boxes. Do it again. Now all ten of them are up here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, check it out. You can probably tell there's been a bit of a development here. In fact, we got the whole storage system built and set up already. Oh my goodness. That was easy, right? Uh, not really. It took quite a while. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I was trying to give you guys a tutorial as I was building this. I was going very carefully, very meticulously, layer by layer as I was building it, trying to show you all the redstone so that nothing would be hidden. You could replicate it yourselves, but I made a bunch of mistakes while building it. And I like had to start tearing down some sections. Some stuff wasn't lining up properly and is like, oh, eventually I just decided to scrap the tutorial and, and just finish it off camera. Because <laughs> as you can probably tell, it, it's actually a pretty complicated thing here. This is one of the more complicated things I've ever built, I think, actually. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on here and it's really compact, too. Um, Kind of hard to see things. It's all hidden and confusing, and there's lots of branching paths and and all that fun stuff. So I figured uh, eventually Hermitcraft will probably do a world download. You can get it from there. Maybe I'll uh, build in my single player. You can get it from my world download, or yeah, we'll we'll figure something out. I'm sure if you're really interested in in building it. But let's get into it. Let's figure out what this thing actually does, shall we? So over here is a pretty important chest. Uh, this is where we store our shulker boxes with our goodies in. Right now I just got empty ones in here to test it out. We've got 10 in here. So that's pretty much all I have spare right now. <laughs> uh, ender chest just for convenience here. This is a key concept to the storage system. So it's like a mixed, a mixed thing. Like we did the... Shulker box uh, search engine engine before and a big problem I found is it was just so slow It wasn't very practical. It's like when you go to use the storage system a lot of times You just want to go up to it grab a stack of something and then go do your thing, right? So the idea with these chests here is uh, we got nine double chests We're gonna try to keep at least a stack of every different item in these um, And then if we need them for building we can just grab grab them. Maybe we leave one behind um, and it's easily ac accessible there, but if we need a uh, more stuff like stuff out of our shocker boxes Then this also functions as a menu system Where we can just press Q over something. Let's say we want to look for yellow terracotta press Q Drops the item down onto the pressure plate here that triggers a hopper minecart to go below and pick it up and then the craziness starts to happen here See the minecart bouncing back and forth there. Our shulker boxes, they're getting a crush. And now it's gone through the 10 of them. And it's going to figure out, you see that comparator is doing, doing its thinking. And it's going to realize that hopper minecart's not doing anything anymore. So then it lets it free. And then we missed most of the rest of that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we did put one piece of yellow terracotta in there. And it does get back here like... Uh, it doesn't get lost or anything. It comes back to you. Oh, man. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Like, I'm so excited to tell you guys about the storage system. But I've been building it for so long that uh, my voice is starting to give out here. I need to go to bed. <laughs> so maybe we'll just uh, do it real quick here. And I'm sure we'll look further into this uh, in the next episode. Um, but yeah, we, we got things to check out. So let's maybe do a real search. So these are all empty, right? All these in here. Let's uh, actually put some items in the system. So you see we got some yellow terracotta in here, yellow in here. Maybe let's actually search for that again. Throw those into storage. Go up to our menu. We hit Q. All right, and then it's starting to, starting to go here. So this is where the items actually end up. Let's see the time it takes for it to start happening. So it went through one set of shulker boxes already, I heard. Oh, and now it's starting to happen. Yeah, so it is a bit slow, right? Um, I'm really happy about one thing, though. You see how fast the items are going into here? I managed to get uh, a double hopper thing going, so it's twice as fast, which is cool. Um, so it fills decently quick. And... 
the idea is you can like fill up the shulker box and like you can take it with you and go building somewhere you can if you want to just organize your system you can just break this and put it into storage oh and by the way as it's uh, searching through things they end up in this top chest and when it's done looking through everything then they funnel back down into here so it doesn't search the same thing twice it keeps them separated oh and there they go so the top top chests go down to the bottom one and another cool thing about this all the shulker boxes in the system should be in this chest none of them get stuck in the dispensers none of them get stuck in the hopper mine carts i was very careful about that Okay, so next up here, let's talk about what we're actually doing with the hopper minecart because we're doing some crazy stuff, honestly. <laughs> so if we throw an item down here, right? That's our, our filter that it looks for, the item it's looking for. Um, what we do, I think the pressure plate is right above this block. So when that gets triggered, this hopper minecart sitting on a power rail and that, and that goes underneath and grabs the item. So that fills up the first slot with something we're looking for. But then there's those four empty slots still, which will grab the shulker boxes or things we don't want it to. Um, so we have to take care of that. What we do is we make it pass by these four hoppers over here. And these are full of filler items. So filler number one, filler number two, filler number three, and filler number four. Those fill up the final four slots. And then when we're done with the minecart later, it passes over top this again and then that deposits the items back in here so this will never run out of the filler items that way and we don't have to uh, worry about dealing with them either okay so another cool thing we're doing is with that comparator over there so it's checking what's in that hopper minecart and if it's pulling items out of the shulker boxes if, if anything's matching then eventually this is going to output a signal strength of two like it's doing right now. So right now it's grabbing items out of the shulker boxes. If it goes to a strength of two, it reactivates this uh, delay timer. And every time it refreshes that, it keeps that thing going so the shulker boxes don't switch. It's only when it, there's no items going into the hopper minecart that they actually switch. So it's kind of smart that way. It can figure out if it's grabbing items or not. And then when there's no more shulker boxes left, you might have noticed this as well. This retracts and lets the hopper minecart out. It falls down, then it goes over top of these uh, filler things. Um, it goes over here somewhere. Whoop. <laughs> goes over here. A little bit of parkour. It's all good. Oh, I'm lost. Oh, yeah, it comes up here. Oh, over, over to this thing. So there's actually two hopper minecarts. Um, this is sitting on top of a hopper. And any items left inside there will start funneling into this chest and then over to here. Um, that way it completely empties the hopper minecart afterwards as well. And nothing gets left behind. And there's no items in your system that you can't access that way. Uh, maybe two more things we'll talk about real quick here. We got these these buttons on the side. What are these for? I wonder. Uh, the top one is actually for a little glitch with the system. I think I got most of the bugs out of this thing, except for one is uh, kind of bad. <laughs> so when this piston retracts this block, if the minecart hits it in just that, that moment when it's retracting, the minecart will completely stop even though... There's like no block there anymore. Um, and then it gets stuck on top of that power rail. So what we do, if this light is on, if the system's still running, and uh, we don't hear the minecart moving, that means we got to press this button. So that makes the block extend, and then the minecart will start moving again and then fall out. The bottom one here is if we want to stop the search, there's a manual override to, like, let's say we got our box full of stuff and we don't want any more. We just hit this. That pulls out the block underneath here and lets the minecart get out of there um, when this is powered. But uh, yeah, anyways, I think we'll wrap up the episode for today, guys. I'm sure we'll see this in action more in the future. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments, and uh, maybe we'll look into it further next time. But for today, that's going to do it. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.